I just wanted to say, clearly not enough people are watching my videos, subscribing and sharing. Because how the fuck is the price of these going down? From my test, this makes you the most currency out of anything else in the game. And yet, we have 49 going for 60, 0 0.82 each, 28 for 33, 0 0.84, 39 for, 30, 39 for 47.83. What else we got? 16 by 21, 0.7. 6, 45, 56, 0. 0.8, uh, 80 for 99, 0. 0.8, there's two of those, 43, 53, 0. 0.81, 25, 32, 0. 0.78, and 28 for 34, 0. 0.82. So you're looking at this, obviously, by the um, 25 for 32. That was insane value. Uh, what else is insane? 16 for 21. So they're both less than 0.8. These were 0.8. This was 0.8. Um, what are the worst ones? The worst ones were 28 for 34. What was the 53 like? 53 was 0 0.81, so that's good. 45, 56, 0.8. And that's pretty much all my currency. But still, the most expensive was 0 0.8. Huh. Hurry, we're going to miss the 0 0.8. Class. <laughs> uh, this is insane. So I just got 360, probably 360. So 99 plus 99 plus 99 plus 67. So 364 divided by 4. 91 runs of uh, the beginning. If you get 1 infinity on average per 5 runs, it's 18 infinities. Um, <laughs> 18 infinities times 20, 364, uh, and what do we say, we got 300, well that's Illuminati confirmed, Whew, 364, um, this is the amount of beginnings that we got, anyway, times point eight so it cost us 291 if we get one infinity per uh, five which is the average uh, we'll make a minimum of 70 fe profit however truth embers uh so minus 364 so it's 73 ah it's clear Too small, I don't have a clear. There it is, I'm just blind. Uh, so 73 plus 91 truth embers plus 91 um, rank five beacons. I noticed that some are only worth two, some are only worth 1.5, so let's just say they're all worth one. Off just spending 291 flame elementium if I run them, the absolute bare minimum that I would say that I'm going to make is 255 Flame Elementium profit. 
That to me is absolutely insane considering how bonkers easy um, the encounter is. Now I'm going to switch to DPS because drop quantity does not work in the encounter. Alrighty, so my OCD kicked in a little bit and uh, 97 runs or whatever it was going to be, 91 uh, was making me twitch a little bit. So what I've done is I um, handed in my memory cards and stuff and I had a couple more sales and uh, got a little bit more currency. So I bought uh, up to 440 of the beginnings. That gives us 110 sets. So 110 sets cost us 352 flame elementium. Um, of the 91 sets I predicted we would make an absolute minimum of 255 flame elementium. So I'm going to guess that we're going to make a minimum of 300 flame elementium from our 352 flame elementium investment, which is crazy. So let's start this grind and uh, see how we go. We'll watch the first one uh, and then I'll just pause on the loot for a snippet and then, I don't know, every hundred or something I'll, uh, I'll do a summary. I've chucked everything of worth uh, in the bank so it'll just be a quick look at our inventory and uh, yeah. So I've had to, I've done a couple of other videos today that have been complete fails. I've done a God of the Machines trial and I started doing a Goddess of the Hunt trial, except I accidentally hit stop recording instead of pause. So that's just hit a uh, standstill for the second. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll see how this one goes. Uh, I'm hoping for a gigantic amount of profit. Uh, if this one makes a shit ton of profit, then I'll... Wait. Ah, oh, it's the other one that has the other phase in it. Yeah, okay, this one's even easier. Cool. Nothing from that one, but uh, we'll see how we go. G'day everyone, so this is run number 55 of 110, um, this video is taking a bit longer because life, anyway, um, I realised that at the start of this video I was a bit pig-headed when uh, looking at how much profit I was going to make and it wasn't until I didn't get an infinity drop for the first 25 runs that I decided to pull my head in and um, reevaluate how I was going to calculate the profit uh, from this. I think originally uh, I said I wouldn't count anything below 4 flame elementium, which if you're doing 110 runs is fine. However, not everyone's going to do 110 runs, so um, only calculating um, for FE plus and saying, you know, it just seems wanky to me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly pause and um, sort some stuff out and then we will look at 
what is in my inventory. Everything in inventory is from this uh, test. Uh, every, everything of worth, anyway. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. Alrighty. Uh, so, reviewing what we have in our inventory, um, I've gone through and quickly done a uh, price check against... Uh, I'm ignoring the one or two listings that are very tiny, which you'll never find, and going for the, the bulk um, listings. So going down the list, we have found um, one Dazzling mecha uh, Mechanical, uh, one Might, three War, three Prof, uh, et cetera, et cetera, all the way down. And... Um, so completing the 55 runs took a little bit over an hour, um, which isn't too bad. I switched up to using vulnerability because I wasn't dying anyway, and I just figured, no, I don't know, I want to see a bigger number. Um, so anyway, good day, everyone. Uh, a new day, continuing on with the 110 um, the beginning tests, uh, I've been uh, selling some of the stuff from um, the first half of the test. Some infinities, infinities have already sold, along with some other stuff. Uh, I have noticed that uh, the Truth Embers haven't sold. It could be due to I'm trying to sell it in the middle of the week versus the weekend. Uh, generally the prices of everything goes up on the weekend because that's when more people play. Um, so the I've modified the tracking sheet um, to incorporate a 0.65 uh, listing price for each of the Truth Embers, even though it looks like 0.67, uh, 0 0.70. So I've modified it for 0.65, which... Uh, in the grand scheme of things, reduces the um, profit that we will make by 30 flame elementium. We're still going to make great profit. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know that before I keep flashing um, more drops. Cheers. have finally got to the end of the 110 the beginning fights I've got one left to go um, there was a slight update to the the price of truth embers because they weren't selling um, I've included all of the reasonable uh, compasses that you can find uh, which gets you a pretty decent amount of uh, extra currency uh, as well as unideed uh, infinities. It's pretty hot and cold, so if you're going to do this um, strategy, I would suggest not doing three or four. Uh, do like 20 or 40 at a time. Obviously, unless you are really low on currency, then sure, do small amounts, but know that if you're doing three or four, you might not get an infinity. Uh, I was expecting 22 for my 110. I got 19, still pretty decent. Um, the infinity drops by themselves, pay for the entire thing, uh, and then everything else is profit. Um, rank five beacons are coming down rapidly. Um, the first test that I did, rank five beacons were two flame elementium each, and they've been two flame elementium each since the start of the league. Um, so the earlier in the league that you do this, the more profit you're going to make. Um, unideed of infinities obviously are going to sell like hotcakes at the start of a league because everyone wants their passive. Uh, they still sell pretty well at the moment, actually, which is 
crazy to me, but uh, on the Asia server, they're still selling a ton of Infinity uh, un unidentified. Um, I want to do a 50 or 100 uh, the ends, uh, so I'm going to sell them all. Uh, I'm not going to gamble on them at all um, because that's a lot of uh, the end runs that I'll be able to do. And this time when I do them, uh, I'm actually going to uh, do up a list of what all the um, equipment drops are worth because I was expecting the rare drops to be blue background and not white and I le le left a 20 FE ring on the ground when I did my tiny little test. Uh, so without further ado, we'll do the last one. Uh, I was pretty disappointed uh, two runs ago because I'm just sitting there, you know, zombified, um, doing the runs, and I died. So I've died one time in 110 runs, and um, I lost 10% XP at level 96, which feels bad, um, especially to a, a boss that's this easy. Uh, I dare say I'm going to die a bit when I do the end. Um, however, that will likely be in a week or so, as I have 20% XP. I had 30, uh, so it feels bad, man. Um, and I will uh, probably just smash out um, either Tier 7 or Tier 8 maps, since Tier 8 maps are getting cheaper and cheaper. Uh, it might be worth just running un-resonance uh, uh, Tier 8s. Resonance add all the rippy mods to uh, maps, um, just plain um, tier 8 maps with only compasses are probably far safer, oh 